what's good y'all y'all know who it is man your favorite trucker i'm back reporting live from that ace time man what's good with you though um made it here to houston about 11. um my appointment time was last night as i told y'all guys yesterday appointment time was last night at eight o'clock um with that live unload from nacogdoches well not even the live unload it really starts friday um when i got my load at that was down at two o'clock and my appointment time was one o'clock in Nacogdoches and I didn't get to leave Fort Worth to about 2 15 or so and then you know I get to Nacogdoches they're already closed you know you know that that story so I had to wait until month yesterday to go deliver it so once I get there delivered you know they work me in and get me done so that kind of really put me behind and I was playing catch up from there so last night and Saturday night in Buffalo, you know, I was working my behind off to get to get called back as best I could. And my appointment time for my load to go to Austin was seven o'clock this morning. My 14 hour reset didn't happen until seven o'clock this morning. So there was no way I was making that. And I get here and kind of tell them what's going on here in Houston, tell, tell them what's going on. And it's like, man, you know this that blah 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 you just have to work you in okay okay cool because there's about if i had to guess roughly 35 to 40 trucks waiting to get in and um i just don't get it this place is massive and it's all automated you know all the big bosses are working from home the computers kind of get everything get everything i guess sorted and the really only humans here are the the check-in take your invoice or they're loading the trailer outside of that it's all automated so i don't get it why it's so behind and um and i call started tell them what's going on because my appointment time to get unloaded in austin is at 1500 today that ain't happening because i've been here since 11 so been here about an hour waiting got a little workout in you know got got some with the dumbbells and get some abs in and whatnot, you know what I'm saying, a little something, just to bypass some time, a little bit of time, you know what I'm saying, and um, make you feel good about yourself, and um, had to tell them they updated all the shift times or appointment times for today and tomorrow, because uh way things looking, I'm staying optimistic, because that's me, but uh, man, it's going to be a minute, that's all I can say, that's all I can say, it's going to be a minute, um, so... It's crazy, you know, how some of these appointment times are set up. And it's like, I need more than four, than 11 hours to drive per day if you want me to make some of these appointment times. Especially if I'm playing catch up from Friday. And y'all know that I had to still get that load unloaded. Because I wouldn't stand the, the whole weekend on their facility. That wasn't happening, Captain. No, not even close. So glad i got everything updated and um we'll see how it goes man um it's crazy you know i was just talking to my classmate about some things and um you know um just here to get the experience man uh, you know you're not gonna start out and get paid what you want um, especially being a new driver into the game um, but once i get that magic number then i know i'm gonna get paid when I'm supposed to get paid, you know, and be in situations where that are more realistic than some of these appointment times, because Coca-Cola is BSing on some of it, and they're controlling the narrative and still got to complain about something, you know what I'm saying, like, you control the narrative on how things are ran. But you still complain when certain things happen. That doesn't make any sense to me. You know, um, is it a good account? It's decent. It's not bad. It's decent. Are there better accounts? I'm sure. Am I looking? Keep an eye open. Because you never know. Because I know the Walmart account, man, I've mentioned it before. Them brothers get paid. The Walmart account getting Walmart paid. Not Walmart account getting Coca-Cola pay. No. No, sir. No, man. I need Walmart account with Walmart pay. But you got to live within, you know, certain zip codes and all that BS and whatnot. So it's all good, though. Like I said, it's decent. 
the Coca-Cola count is decent. You know, every job's got its pros and cons. Every count's got its pros and cons, but it's decent. So, hopefully within the next three to four hours, I can get in and get out and move on. But we shall see. You know what I'm saying? We shall see. But uh, grab me a little, little bit of lunch here. Uh, probably either a tuna sandwich or a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And um, just kind of just twiddle my thumbs and patiently wait. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of just patiently wait, man. So, until the next episode, I have a one eternity later. What's good, y'all? Y'all know who it is, man. Um, just wanted to give y'all a quick upda update. And, uh, boys are still sitting there waiting, man. Um, it's crazy. Um, it's crazy. They updated my t appointment times and all that on Schneider's side. And, you know, I'm just still patiently waiting. Got about four hours and seven minutes left on my clock so hopefully i'm able to at least get unloaded and uh, hooked up and maybe stay the night in houston or try to get as far as i can but we'll see um it's crazy it's crazy three hours later what's good y'all you know i told you i was gonna give you a little update um Seven o'clock. I'm finally to the dock, man. Finally got through the gates, got checked in. Um, they're gonna unload me, and, cause I was supposed to be a, do a drop and hook. They're gonna unload me and then reload me. And um, hey, as long as you give me 30, 40 minutes left on my clock, let me make it to the OC. I'm chilling for the night, man. Like for real. Um, it's been a hell of a day, but hey, just get me, get me unloaded to get reloaded. And, uh, you know, I can chunk the deuce, man. I'm going to holler at you when I holler at you. You feel me? Um, but, yeah, man. Um, I'm going to put the hand sanitizer on. Um, I test my crust ass. I forgot when I test the doorknob and whatnot. But, um, yeah, man. Um, like I say, nigga at the dock. Um, just waiting to get it in. You feel me? <laughs> Wait, waiting for them to uh, uh, roll that dough up. Get, get Unload the goods. Give me my goods so I can... Uh, be good on my way you know what i'm talking about but uh yeah man uh, i probably i'll make another video once uh, um get to the oc and kick my heels up man kind of let you know how long it took and whatnot and we'll just go from there you know what i'm talking about what is it like i said it's seven o'clock so we'll see we'll see if they get me done within an hour you know what i'm talking about a few moments later We're in this thing trying to get loaded and unloaded, man. Be a little sneak peek. This is on the inside. Inside them gates, man. Yeah. They finally got me unloaded. I think they're loading me. Um, man. You know what I'm talking about? Watch the trailer rock. You hear all that noise, man. That's crazy. Eventually. What's good, y'all? Y'all know who it is, man. It's your favorite truck. I'm back, man. I'm here at the OC here in Houston, man. Um, made it with five seconds left on my clock, man. Um, they finally got me unloaded and reloaded. And I had like... 32 minutes left on my clock and I'm not for sure exactly what time that was but uh I knew that no matter what was going to ha no matter what was going to happen I was going to get to the OC because being there at that facility since 10 30 this morning there was no parking so it was like I can't park here and I'm not going to find a spot at the truck stop that's not going to happen um, and I was like, I'm getting to the OC because I know for sure I'm going to have, have parking and be able to take a shower, man. Um, made it here. I knew I was going to make it here. No matter, despite if I would have ran out of time, unfortunately, you know, I, I was going to have to stop where I was going to have to stop. But, hey, I made it here with five seconds left, and, and thank God that I did, man. Um, long day, but 
productive day because I was able to get unloaded and reloaded and I'm ahead of the game for tomorrow and I got to figure out what time I need to be in Austin tomorrow to drop this load off and try to stay ahead man um what a day though man um just 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 beyond grateful kind of disappointed with coca-cola but hey it is what it is man um you know like you say man it is what it is man um but yeah man i'm finna get my stuff together man go inside bust some suds come back get something to eat and kind of kick my heels up and rest and kind of just kind of decompress from the day man and just you know lay it on down and go from there man but hey man y'all continue to do your research y'all stay safe y'all stay prayerful man and um until we meet again until the next episode uh -huh. uh. oh yeah i forgot to tell you guys man um once I, I woke up this morning in Buffalo, I went to get some fuel, and I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and scale my load, man. Let me just, let me, while I'm here, go ahead and scale it and see what it is. Because I was sliding my tandems at the Fort Worth facility. This is kind of a technique that I have. How, you know, I'll have to, I can't explain it. I'd rather could just show you guys um, on for is the weight distribution. And I went, and I, I was like, yeah, I think I got it. I think I got it. And once I got to the pilot and got the fuel I mean, scaled then got fuel i got my ticket and i saw and it showed that i had 34,500 pounds on my drives and 31 two on my tandems and you know you, you can only have 34 on your drives and 34 on your tandems and um i was like hell yeah i got it right you know so for a slide i'm just kind of guesstimating in a sense you feel me kind of doing that and um and then I get 10 miles on the south side of Buffalo. There's the weight station open. Shh. Butt cheeks clenched. You feel me? I'm talking clenched because I'm like, man, I'm 30, 34, 5, and I can only be 34. So I'm like, man, I, you know, so it's a long line to even get into the weight station. So I'm pulling, I pulled over, getting in line. I was like, I'm go ahead and set my brakes. Let me go on here, try to, you know, slide my tandems real quick. You know, I got to slide them. I got to slide them, uh, slide my, ta excuse me, slide my tandems to the rear so I can get more weight off my uh, drives. So I slide them a little bit. I was like, yeah, cool, I ain't touching it no more. I'm done right there. That's it. That's it. And then that yellow, the rear, you know, we're gone, we're gone, we're gone. It's my turn. It's a yellow light. I'm just slow. I'm just following the people in front of me, following their, their, what they did i'm slowly getting through it and got through it and kept zooming after that i ain't gonna lie to you like i said butt cheeks was clenched do you hear me man man best advice get your stuff scaled if you possibly can man yeah it may take 20 30 minutes 40 minutes you know out of your your route for the direction that you're going you might be making good time, but that today, I'm glad I got a scale because I never would have known. They probably would have popped me. And I really would have been behind schedule for that. You feel me? I would have got a, probably a big old a big old fine and then a chewing out by Snyder at the same time, man. So definitely make sure you get scaled. If you can find one within a, you know, a 30 40 mile radius or whatever the case may be because if it ain't one in the direction that you're going man use your best judgment it's the best thing i can say man use your best judgment but i'm glad i did follow my gut man and got it scaled because who would have thought that thing was open man but yeah man make sure you get them scales man abide by the laws man the last thing you need this is a big old ticket for some BS that you could have, you know, handled. And instead of trying to, nah, I'm good, I'm good. Nah, you ain't good. If you paying out your pocket, you ain't getting paid. You ain't good. You know what I'm talking about? So make sure you uh, get your shit scaled, man, for real.